hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome i um was going to set up my august pages so i thought i'd just kind of turn on my video um i am feeling better i'm not a hundred percent but i'm feeling more energetic so um i wanted to come down into my office and lately i've been staying upstairs and uh, I've been feeling uh, better, so I started updating my um, self-care weeks. So I took it out of its cover just because I prefer it that way. This is going to be more like a planner chat and setup of my August pages and just kind of be relaxed. Um, this is my first. I know this is probably not a big deal to most people, <laughs> but I love coffee. And this is my first cup in, what's today, the 15th in exactly a month. Um, just because, you know, when you're not feeling well, I don't desire, or when I don't feel well, I, I don't desire coffee. But today, I just wanted a cup of uh, hot coffee. This is decaf with creamer, which tells me that my body is getting back to where it should be. Not there yet, but anyway, just wanted to share that with you. And I've moved my planner or my inserts into this, um, I think it's called an easy plan, Franklin Covey easy plan. And it has like a little magnetic, you know, uh, snap there. And the reason I like this is because it has, uh, these rings are pretty large. I want to say 30 millimeter. Um, I've been updating this and it's been working beautifully. Um, uh, Dakshina had asked on her Instagram, you know, when you change planners um, or covers, you know, does your system stay the same? Um, my system is the same. It doesn't matter what planner I'm in, whether I'm in rings or whether I'm in a bound book. Um, my, my system is the same. So I have, you know, and, and if you've been following me for a while, you know what that is. Um, but if you're new here, let me just take you quickly through it. Um, so I have my monthly, this is the monthly at a glance. Usually these are goals. I left them there just in case because I'm starting to feel better. Um, but I might take them out. My monthly index, my currently, my currently is just basically, you know, what am I currently planning, eating, drinking, reading, listening. I got that off the happy planner like years ago. And so I just, you know, every month I just copy it over. My husband's gratitude, my grandbaby's highlights, um, my weeklies. Now this I did change from, let's see. So I did move from what I had was I was drawing these out, um, you know, kind of vertically. And I've always done my weeks that way because I'd like to have my appointments up here and then write my intentions for the next morning. Um, specifically writing them out helps to really solidify it in my, in my, in, you know, in my brain. So when I wake up the next morning, I kind of already know what I want to do. Doesn't mean I always get it done. Um, but anyway, so those that's what this was. And I did not, for August, I think I would still be in rings. I did not want to draw this out and use, you know, some good graph or grid paper. And that's from Filofax. So what I went ahead and did is I uh, printed out the free uh, week on two pages from Peanuts Planner Co., and so here has my Monday start, and then I have my schedule up here. I have, you know, the daily intentions that I wrote. Let's see if I can bring it. My daily intentions that I wrote, I just put it in the daily tracker. I'm gonna see how that works. And then I have a, because I didn't have a lot of room here um, for my to buy, so I have my to buy section. Um, let me show you the next one. So I have a to buy. Yeah, this is my current week. I, went, I back planned and making sure that I copied everything because I wanted everything, you know, together. So my calls are up here, which is a little note section. Um, or I can change it the following week to note section. Um, but right now it's calls. 
So, you know, when I have to call my son or my older children, basically, or other important phone calls. Um, and then my schedule for the week, Monday and ends on Sunday. And I always highlight it according to the Hobonichi weeks or the Hobonichi, which Sunday is always in red, uh, Saturdays in gray, and then my Monday through Fridays in blue. Here are my morning intentions. And if I need to add anything else, I can via a tracker. Here's my to buy. Here's stuff I need to do for work. Here's my to do's because I was finding as I'm working in here, it's like, I don't like to add a to do here. And then I don't do it because I'm not sure I'm gonna get it done on this day. If I'm not sure I'm gonna get it done, I need some place to kind of hold it. And I though, although I have this, my July tasks, because it has so much here, this is really migrating this into the weekly and then from the weekly into my daily. So in my head, that's how I kind of like it to work. And so I did not have that with when I drew out my weekly. So now I have my to do's and however long that gets, you know, it shouldn't be too long because, you know, I can only do so much in a week. Um, but, and then this column, I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, you know, um, I'm sure I may use it for homeschool, you know, once my daughter starts officially homeschooling, uh, next month. So that's, I think that's what I'm going to use that for. So anyway, it just looks cleaner and now I have a spot for everything to buy my calls like I used to do it. So this is working out and I have enough for August and these are the daily sheets that I'm using. Um, it's at a glance. That's what, um, it's from, it's from Amazon and I ordered these when they were under $5. They're back to $20 and, but $20 really is not expensive. The Franklin Covey, I've always loved Franklin Covey cause I've always loved the width, which is, I think it's four and a quarter. Um, wide where this is three and three quarter wide, you know, wide. The problem with going to Franklin Covey, and I've been analyzing this and thinking about this, is I like all my inserts the same size. If you notice, these stick out a little bit, but I have these towards the back, which that doesn't matter to me, but everything else, I want the same size because I wanna see my dividers and my tabs. I don't know, I'm just, I've always been that way. But anyway, that's all I have um, in terms of that. But I did want to set up basically August. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Purple Lux, my domino, just because this elastic is, um, and this planner is a lot lighter. I won't be using it for August, but I wanted to set up my August pages and um, it doesn't currently, I did not want to add them to my current planner just because this is already pretty, you know, where it needs to be. And I like, uh, I like working in my planner where I can easily work in the pages and if it gets overly um, stuffed, then I don't enjoy that. So I'm just going to take all these out and then I can just bend these back a little bit and it lays flat here or flatter. <laughs> okay. So in my list section, I already listed all my planner um, categories. So I'm going to open this up on the side. And I'm going to try to do this as good as I can because I generally don't do this uh, on camera and I take my time and then I figure out what I want and I'm not quick when it comes to um, stuff like this. So I am going to kind of work backwards. So I'm going to have my dailies. Now this is for August and I've already put in my paydays in the monthlies and in the dailies. And I need to also set up my daily pages in terms of water tracker, 
and stuff like that. Now I do have a stack of just Filofax paper here and I'm just going to basically go through um, and pick out some papers. So this is going to be my monthly index. Well, the monthly goes first, so let's put that first here. And hopefully you can see on camera because, yeah, okay, you can see, <laughs> I had to check. Okay, I have the, uh, my, I have my index, and then I have my currently, see how easy that is. Then I have my um, gratitude for my husband. Now, for my grandbabies, their highlights, this, because I babysit her, I have more information here. Because this is still blank, I'm not sure that, and, and my daughter, my grandmother, grandbaby has one there. I may move this into August and but if this fills up I will leave this here and then create a sheet for her but I for sure will move this to August um, I don't want to have you know just so many like blank sheets and I do need to call my son and check up on my granddaughter so okay so we'll worry about that later um, the weeklies are here and so I have enough. This is July um, to August 1st. And then I will fill out August here because this is already in here. And so that's not a big deal. So we'll skip that. So and then we have our daily. So I guess I didn't have that many sheets to get ready. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. So... So this is the monthly and because the note section this I like basically just white background um, but I'm dealing with this because it's it was under five bucks <laughs> and it's what I have and for August I want to continue using my rings so I'm just gonna make a dark line which tells me that that's the note section. And then I need to fill this out with, um, and I may put some washi here just so I can get, well, let me see, do I wanna write notes? I may just, let me see. I may just make a dark line here because visually this all looks muddled, even though there's faint numbers here, one, two, three, four. So I will either use this for notes, so I won't add washi because I sometimes do that. So, and then I'll fill it, I'll fill it in. I already put my paydays there and I won't decorate more than this. I'm just very functional type planner. Now for here, for the index, I will add some washi now I'm going to go ahead and set up my dailies and then I will come back and then show you a flip through of all my pages because I just don't want to take too much time, um, you know, having you see me draw my dots or whatever. <laughs> so um, I'll go ahead and do that now and then bring you back. So here is my setup and um, here is my monthly. I don't know I have some pl I'm thinking I'm going to have some plans for this since homeschooling is starting but for now um, or just put like major things like um, in July and June of my current one I put in like when I got sick in mid-June through now so you know like major things I'm thinking so this is my monthly um, I color code everything and as you can see, my schedule is getting pretty full. Yellow is homeschool, so volleyball starts, and uh, we have birthdays. We have a lot of birthdays this month, and uh, chemistry starts for my daughter and her choir graduation meeting. Yeah, 
going to be pretty busy. We are going camping the last week of July. This will be the last day of camping, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, we haven't been able to do much camping just because everything has been filling up so quickly. So, and this is my August monthly index. I just, you know, put a little, I kind of don't like what I did there with the green. Um, I should have done gray, but I'm trying to match, you know, the, the, uh, washi there a little bit, but this is my currently here. Let me put my pen down. <laughs> I was trying to be a pointer. So this is my currently, um, so it's planning, eating, drinking, reading, listening, feeling, loving, watching health. I added health just because, um, uh, for those that don't know, my health has taken a toll. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. So I do have some doctor appointments. Um, I believe I'm going to see a rheumatologist in September. It's it's a far off, but um, at least I'll have an appointment. This is a YouTube IG purchased, celebrating, planners created, and what's like the top news. Um, this is my husband's gratitude for August. I find that when I keep the washi just on top like that, I have enough page, you know, it, I have enough lines to include 31 lines. Um, when I keep washi on the bottom, and I need to remember that for the following month if I'm still in rings, and see how I didn't have enough room there. So that's okay. So here starts my uh, dailies. And hopefully you can see, but... This matches the way I've always done my daily pages, even in my Stalogies. Um, so up here in the corner, I have, um, and I usually do this on Sunday, but I did it just for purposes of showing you. Um, I have affirmations and I have this affirmation in my faith section of my rings. And that's why I have it. Cause I added, I add one in the corner. And then in the morning when I wake up, I, when I update my planner, I highlight that in blue because that forces me to look at it throughout the day. Up here, I put um, like special events, birthdays are in blue. Um, let me see if I can find something else. Here I have bills in green. Um, any important information kind of like in that reddish uh, mild liner. Birthdays are again are in blue. Paydays um, are just that little stamp that I have there. And then I keep a lot of my dailies. And then here I just, I have like these little blue dots that I used, um, what are these? Super tips, um, the darker blue. And I just did eight dots. Lately I've been drinking um, a lot more than 64 ounces of water just because that's what the doctor wants me to maintain. Um, I see her on Monday, so I'm not sure. I just put it back to normal because I'm thinking, um, I, I can, I can, the way I'm feeling that I can go back to just regular, uh, water, but I do need maintain my water intake here. I put when I woke up and when I go to bed. So I do keep this in my weeks and my self-care weeks, but I like to, oh, I've always kept this in my planner. So I put down like when I went to bed and then the following day, I put down when I woke up and then the amount of hours I got. And I usually from my watch that I wear here, um, I have an app on my phone that tells me exactly how much deep sleep and light sleep I got and the total amount of hours. And so I'll just write the total amount. And then in my weeks, I'll document in a graph form how much, you know, light sleep versus deep sleep, because that really does affect um, how I feel the next day. I have here just Devo. Even though I have that in my weeklies, I like to keep that and so um, on my daily so I get to see, you know, what I am just at a bird's eye view what I'm doing. And I highlight that in orange because that's, that's faith. Here I will keep my weather in between Monday and this August 2nd here. So, um, and I write very tiny so it'll all fit. And then here, of course, I write my dailies. Um, I'll write, oh, I forgot to do the lines here, but right here at the four, the number four, I'll just write a dark line. I'll write here, you know, a section here for my daughter, like what she does um, for homeschooling and what she does personal. 
um, because a lot of times I, I can use that and add that to her homeschool planner. She has her own planner, but sometimes she doesn't know, you know, um, if she does something like a project, oh, you know, where, did, where does she put that? Um, down here is going to be just YouTube, like any YouTube videos that I watch. I just like to keep track of that. That's just something I've always done. Here, depending on, you know, on how my health goes, um, I have moved my health information now as of yesterday into my um, uh, self-care weeks. And so that's going to free this up to more like when I babysit my grandbaby. I like to just write a little column here, just things that we did for memory's sake. And then the bottom up is, you know, what my family and I did during the day for memory's sake. And then if I have any notes, I can use this section here. You know, like today I got a phone call from the doctor. Um, I got an email from volleyball in regards to ordering t-shirts by a certain date. So I just kind of wrote that right quick. And then here I'll have my to-dos just like I did in my Stalogy. And then here I'll write, maybe I'll put a stamp. I want to start using my stamp set again. I'm, I'm missing that. Um, and then here in the middle, if I have trash day or if I have a package, um, arriving, I, you know, I have a little stamp and then I'll put what I'm, what's arriving or if it's a, uh, that's if it's a green stamp. No, it's a brown stamp. Um, cause I color code my stamps and if it's green, that means I ordered something and then I can put that kind of in the middle because I'll have room. Um, cause I doubt I'll have that many to do's. And that's basically it. And if I have any other information, like lately I've been keeping my temperature up here. If I have my blood pressure, I can keep that in my self-care weeks. But I, you know, that kind of information I can just write there and this easily transfer into my um, self-care weeks. And I, I use this exactly like I've been using it, like a bullet journal. And I'm just flipping through the pages. So yeah, and then um, I kind of, I just like the bullet journal, you know, a week before, like on Sunday, I'll update my schedule for the week. I don't try not to um, schedule too much ahead of time. I have, actually, I have a, a, a planner on my a calendar on my phone and I color code everything. So if I did not have any paper, I, that's what I use when I'm out and about. That's what notifies me um, of upcoming appointments. This is just for paper purposes, um, memory keeping and that kind of a thing. But I do use this to, um, as the years have gone by, I do use this when I'm home to see what my appointments are and the such. But because I document so much on a page, um, you know, for memory's sake, this really um, helps. So this is my current setup. This will stay in here for now um, until I'm ready to move out of my, uh, or not move out, but take my July stuff out. And I do need to migrate my future log for August. Actually, let me see their birthdays. I do need to add that, say for hobos, for my hobonichis in September. That's when the release is out. And I gotta finalize baby shower plans. And that's for my oldest daughter. So that I don't have much other than the save money for my hobonichi weeks. And then um, for August, I mean, when I get closer to August, I'll be filling this out, like my August tasks my YouTube. Um, this is kind of hard because like today I just felt like, you know, recording a video and a lot of times it's just that way. That's how I do it, except for the collab because we had something scheduled, but I generally just kind of go with the flow. And when I feel, you know, like recording, um, then I kind of do here will go my homeschool to do's my planner ideas or things that I want to work in my planner stuff in my home. Um, and I don't need a lot of space for my home. Um, you know, like when I, I don't know, I, if I say clean the bathroom or if I put bathroom, I already know what I need to do, all the little steps. If I say declutter my bedroom, you know, I know that's going to be like a week long project. So I don't know. That's just the way I've always been. Personal development. I don't have anything near there yet, but that's kind of 
how and if you you know see my previous video I already showed how I, I do that and it's basically the same and I can always add or take away you know um, a, a you know like a header but these are generally what I do every month so and that goes through December but thank you so much for watching and again if you have any questions let me know below and please like this video and if you have not um, done so please subscribe so you can get notifications of all my future videos thank you so much for watching and until next time